Okay, hi. Uh, <coughs> uh, it's Brethren again. Uh, let's continue. So uh, this topic, I at first when I write this topic, I was I I originally wants to write write it into uh, one vlog, but later on uh, I found out that there are more and more contents that I have to put them into two vlogs. Uh, two sections. So what I want to talk about is greed and why everyone's life is life's value is divided into different classes. Why classes is needed uh, in the enslavement pyramid. Okay, and as you can see, obviously, uh, what I want to talk about first are the doctors and the lawyers and the accountants. Uh, the doctors are paying very high because you know, because it's because fear of death. Because everybody thinks that uh, when you die, then there's nothing more. Then it's the end. Then you don't exist anymore. So that's why the doctors are being paid so high. Uh, the lawyers and accountants, why they're paying so high? Because they help you profit, which is legally greed more. Greeting for more money or pay less or wipe off your responsibilities in the law that you need to respond for example like if you break a law they help you wipe your ass off wipe your responsibility off so that you don't need to pay you don't need to compensate or to make what is illegal and using the law to make it legal I mean the lawyers and accountants are they have, they have, the law and the lawyers have become a weapon to legalize greed and more greed for more money, greedy for more money in the capitalism. And lawyers, to me, I mean, they are just mercenaries. If you have enough money, then you can hire the best lawyers to using whatever means possible to maximize your your benefit, maximize your profit, and maximize your greed or wipe your responsibilities off. And I also want to talk about is the media, you know. Um, the media is kind of like becomes a sport magazine that gives you, you know, the, the news that arouses you. Uh, the media is not protecting your freedom of speech, it's not, its main concern is not protecting anyone. The media's own con only concern is, is protecting their starting point of greeting and wants to uh, greet, to greet for more money, you know, through manipulating the public. That they give the news, you know, that uh, that uh, uh, I don't know the proper wor word for English is, you know, involve pornographic. Uh, or or within the boundaries of pornographic, you know, and bloody gore, violence, stimulations, you know, look at the the um, the news. Uh, what you see, uh, for example, like they don't show you how horrible uh, the war is, how people are being killed, or things like that. You know, you know, even if they show you they have, they have been killed, it's only one to stimulate you, you know. Uh, it's kind of like what it looks like in a video game. They show you the tanks, the, the machine guns and the shootings and the bombs and things like that to stimulate you, to get you aroused, get you uh, just like a sport mag magazine. And they're just manipulating public, the public, using the public, using the excuse of protecting this freedom of speech, to, using the excuse of protecting democracy. I mean, even democracy has become something that what we use as a tool to maximize our greed. Look at democracy. When, when, who do you vote? You vote, at least including myself in the past, I vote for someone that can bring me a good life, a comfortable life, more money, you know. So whoever lies most skillful in lying, whoever most skillful in uh, you know giving false hope giving you false hope that he can do it I mean just like uh, Obama you know 
um, I'm just using him as an example. I'm not specifically pointing uh, at him. But I mean, look at the world leaders today. Look at um, uh, look at, for example, like look at how most of the communist uh, countries, governments, how do they get into the power? Giving false hope, giving a lot of false hope to they give you hope, you give you hopes of everything, and then you vote for them. Uh, same to the democratic uh, in the Western societies. Um, so media has become a tool also for self-interest. Demo de democracy has become a tool being used and manipulated for self-interest, for greediness. And I mean, I mean, ask ask yourself. I mean, before maybe you or before me get in touch with destiny. Uh, if you don't give me hope or don't give me benefits, then I wouldn't vote for you. It's as simple as that. And so as long as greed exists, everything will just remain the same and will only compound and worse and worse and get worse and get worse and get worse. I mean, it has been compounding for... I mean, look look at the world, at the world around us. Uh, if you are young, maybe you need to ask, ask your parents, you know, or look up into the internet. I, I always just ask your parents. If you are like me in the middle age, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. The world has never changed. Nothing has changed. It has only been compounding and getting worse and getting worse and getting worse. Uh, I mean, thank goodness they don't have any much more oil. I mean, else we will have much more war. And what is war? War is based on greed. Because people want to get more resources. That is money. And that's why they go to war, and that's why the elite at the back. Well, we are not talking about the elite at the background, uh, uh, how to stimulate both parties to go into war yet. But that's how how things work. Uh, that's everything is oriented and foundation on greed, including the capitalism, including the democracy. So why support a system? I would I would say. Why support a system that ultimately only a few at the tip of the pyramid, uh, at the throne, enslaving everyone, the majority in the in the in, in, in the enslavement pyramid, and everyone in the casino just dreaming of taking over the ruler's place and wants to be kings themselves. One day, just keep hoping, hoping, and hoping, hoping. Why support a system like this? I mean, why not support an e-commerce system that take care of everyone's necessities, that the future government will give you a, a certain fixed amount of money every every month, as as long as you are alive unconditionally, uh, except you need to do four years of con conscription work in the system to, to produce food for human and plant and do it to do the lab laboring. Uh, you know why support why 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 don't you support and vote for uh, e-commerce system that everyone will be taken care of? There will be no more classes. That everyone, every job, every position will be the same. No matter what you do, it all depends on your working hours, and everyone will exchange equally and buy things equally according to how much hours that you have contributed. I mean, look at. Look at our world today. I mean, look at the multi-billionaires. Do they? Why do they earn billions of times of other people's income? Do they contribute a billion times more to the society to in helping others? No, of course not. And why support a system that allows such things, such greed, to exist? Why support? I mean, the only thing I can think of why you would support a capitalism, you know, as enslaving the majority is only because either you are already at the top of the pyramid. And I, I do know people like that. I mean, I know people that have billions of dollars, really, really rich, and they are so greedy that they they wouldn't they won't give a damn or nickel to you. You know, and they think that's still not enough. They still want more. 
I mean, that's what they are like. And uh, of course, I'm not bring, bringing them because they exist inside me. That's why they manifest outside for us to know. Everybody wants to be them. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me. The only reason that you would support the capitalism to enslave everyone, the majority of the public, is only either you are already at the top of the pyramid that you are obsessed and enslaving every other to leave your king style living, you know, and you feel comfortable and you are totally obsessed that you don't see the equality and oneness and you don't want to give up your current living. And second is you dream, the, the second type of people is you dream, keep dreaming and hoping and seeing there's a chance that one day you can climb to the top or to go to the upper level of the enslavement pyramid and can become those kings. You see yourself have a chance to become them and you don't want to give up. You know, that's the only two types of people, two reasons why you will not give up. Uh, why you would support capitalism? You know that's that's what I see. So I will really urge you to ask yourself the questions: Why support a system? Why we live in a current system that divide everyone into different classes, according to their so-called education, according to the job nature? You know. Um, why divide everyone into classes and then letting everyone try to take over the, the rulers? You know, why live your life like that? Those are the rulers are afraid of being, t being taken, you know, in every moment. And those that are being enslaved, the majority try to keep doing everything they can, dreaming every dreams they can, to hopefully want to win the lottery that one day they can become the kings. Why support a system? Why support uh, either win, you win, or you total loss? Why not support a system that, that everybody wins? A communist system is everybody wins because e communist system I only have one minute. Because a e communist system do everything for the best of for of all. So whatever they do, they do for the best benefit of all, of everyone, of for the majority of everyone. And everyone is taken care of, everyone is considered, no one will be excluded. I mean, I was so I'm, I'm so I was so excited when I first heard about the e-communist system. Once I know about what the e-communist system is, so if you have uh, followed me, if you are not a Estonian but you have followed me to to this uh, interview to hear, that means you are quite interested, uh, or in e-communist system, or you you know. What I'm talking about, why divide everyone into classes, into a either you, you win or lose system? Why divide everyone into different classes for different income, different money? Why support a system? Why support a capitalism that allows people? to earn a billion times of income of the majority but do not contribute a billion times to the society, to everyone, to earth, to animals, to nature. Why support a system that allows such things to occur? Why not support a economic system that everyone considers and everyone will be taken care of. Okay, thank you.